Hi, I'm Jerry. I wanted to show you a quick hack and a way to reverse engineer camcorder viewfinders. These are viewfinders that you might find on a mid-80s to, uh, to mid-90s camcorder. They have a, a CRT inside of them and they take composite video. I haven't ran into one that hasn't so far, at least the ones that are CRT based. Most of them that I see are black and white although apparently there are a few color CRT um, camcorder viewfinders out there. Uh, now the trick with these is when you take all the plastic off of them and take it off the camera there's usually just a bundle of wires that are not labeled and really don't indicate uh, what, what the signals are. You'll find that a couple of the wires usually run up to an LED that's an indicator for the record light that's up in the viewfinder. You'll also find that two of the wires are for power, and the power for these usually range between 5 to 12 volts. And so what the first thing I do is next to the connector I look for electrolytic capacitors. These are big filter capacitors that they put near the connector to clean up the power as it comes into the, the viewfinder and the CRT board. And luckily for us, the electrolytic capacitors are polarized, so they have a negative stripe on them. So we can tell what the ground is for the power. So we trace that back through the traces and we can find which one of these wires is the ground. And then you find the positive side, which would be the positive side of the um, electrolytic capacitor. I usually put on my bench supply and I start the power off pretty low, start at about 5 volts, and then start bringing the power up until I start to see the screen glow. Um, and I also watch, I have a current meter on my power supply, so I watch the current meter to make sure that it doesn't appear like there's a huge short or it's drawing excess current. I mean, um, the, the display that I have hooked up to the lab supply right now is, is about a third amp right now. So um, the next thing once you have it powered up and you can see a little bit of glow from the CRT is you, you'll want to figure out which one of these wires is the composite input. So all I usually do is I just strip all the wires down and I just start touching the wires one by one to the ground and if you cause a little bit of static on one of the wires by grounding it you'll see the screen start to flicker and that's a good indication that that's your composite input. So usually I'll just use the common ground off the power supply that seems to be okay for for pumping video into these CRTs. Um, there most likely is a ground return dedicated for the video but it really doesn't seem to make a big difference. And um, sometimes once you find the composite video input you may need to do some termination on it uh, depending on how how they've terminated in the camera. If the video quality looks really poor, um, you may have to put a 75 ohm uh, series termination or or a 75 ohm to ground termination. But that's pretty rare, really. So if we take a look at this display that I've already reverse engineered, I can show I have my Xbox, or I'm sorry, GameCube playing on this. Um, this camera is not going to pick it up great, but it's very, very high resolution, even though it's about the size of a postage stamp. You can see my, my pinky nail there. It's very, very, um, very, very tiny. Now the second thing on these, or the last thing I should say on these, is sometimes, like this one, the image is inverted, because sometimes they'll have optics that the CRT will rotate through. Like, this part right here so you can adjust the eyepiece and since it's shining through a mirror it reverses everything and so they'll reverse the the deflection coils and you can usually identify the deflection coils fairly easily because they go they're they're attached to some coils that are mounted halfway up the CRT so what you do is you just disconnect those wires or the connectors from the circuit board and just flip them and that will cause the CRT to um, to scan the face reverse from what it came originally. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that uh, and uh, tear apart some camcorder CRTs. 
They're really fun. They come in all different sizes. Like this is a pretty huge one. This one's probably like an 80s version. And then you get little dinky ones like this that are um, from mid-90s units. Alright, talk to you later. Bye.